So many people tell me that they're intimidated to bake with yeast. Well, I hope that this recipe really does encourage you and not intimidate you. One of the most rewarding things that a home baker can do is make yeast dough. It is very rewarding. The smell, the texture, the feel, all of the senses are gratified when you make yeast dough at home. So uh, we start off first proofing our yeast. Two packages of active dry yeast and put the yeast in water that's between 105 and 110 degrees. Uh, I sometimes just stick an instant read thermometer in the water and just let the yeast proof. Proof means exactly that. You're testing it for its quality of being able to raise the flour uh, into a nice light dough. Uh, we want to make sure that the yeast is active. Uh, make sure that you stir the yeast into the water. Growing up, I had the local baker right next door to us on Elm Place, Mr. Mouse and his wife, uh, Mrs. Mouse. Uh, they were fantastic people, um, very large German bakers, who when they retired, built a new bakery right in their basement. And uh, it was uh, a lot of fun to visit with them and learn uh, all about the making of delicious yeast doughs. So here's the yeast. It's starting to bubble. That way you know it's alive. So we're gonna leave that, and now we're gonna start with the dough itself. We're gonna cream butter, one and a half sticks of unsalted butter. We're going to have two large egg yolks, not whole eggs, just the yolks. So here's our egg yolks. Now to the butter, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of granular sugar. Okay, so cream your butter and your sugar. I'm gonna add the egg yolks now. You can see how they incorporate into the butter and sugar. And we're using one cup of bread flour, which has a higher gluten content than all-purpose flour, and one and two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour. Unbleached, high quality. And to that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And you can whisk this up Oh, this looks really good. Now add your sour cream, a third of a cup. Sour cream, high quality sour cream, uh, some vanilla, half a teaspoon. And the white vinegar, one teaspoon. And this acts as a tenderizer in the dough. An odd addition, but it's, uh, you'll see when you taste the different products that we're gonna make, uh, it really adds something special to this dough. We have to add our yeast, which has proved it is all dissolved. Scrape that in. And then you'll add your flour. and you're, you'll see it kind of breaks up, but don't worry about that. It will come together and make a nice malleable dough. Scrape down your bowl. You can do this by hand. It takes a little longer, but if you're just starting out making bread, you might even want to really try doing a lot of bread doughs by hand. That's how I learned, and it was a lot of fun, and you get to understand how yeast works. You get to know the feel of the dough. When they say it should be as soft as a baby's bottom, you'll get the idea of that. Okay, so now we can start adding slowly our dry ingredients. And beat it for two to three minutes. So this is what the dough looks like. You can turn it out onto a floured work surface and then knead it until it's a little bit smoother and forms a ball. So you see, I'm not going to incorporate a lot of flour because it doesn't really need any more flour. And this will be set in a bowl. You don't have to even butter the bowl because this dough is buttery already. So the recipe actually asks you to knead this dough for five minutes. And notice I'm turning and pushing with the heels of my hands, pulling back with my fingers pushing with the heels of my hands, trying not to add 
uh, too much flour. If you add too much flour, you're just gonna get a heavier dough. And this doesn't really need it at all. You don't want sticky dough, but you don't want dry dough. That's Dry dough is worse than sticky dough. So here we have a very nice dough. It's smooth, it's not wet. It's almost as smooth as a baby's bottom. And so now get this right into a large bowl, cover it with plastic wrap. You don't want it to dry out. And I always like to put a flour sack towel over this slightly damp and put it in a warm place to dry. Uh, find that warm place in your kitchen and just let it rise until it's doubled in bulk. It's nice right back here. We have one that's already doubled in bulk right here. Yes, this looks very good. It smells great. It smells yeasty, um, a slightly, slightly sour, and I don't mean that in a bad way, uh, slightly sweet, and it feels very nice. Now, when you poke your finger in it, look, it deflates. And that's, you can tell it has really risen. When you draw it all together, it is going to uh, decrease in size and it's ready to work. This is your risen dough. And this modest little handful of dough will make a dozen of the best sticky buns or a dozen of the best sugar buns. You pick. <laughs>